Leading the way to a safer tomorrow is the theme of Police Week 2012. Christopher Souza delivered a passionate speech to a group of police officers, civilian staff, and community members gathered at Toronto Police Headquarters for the launch of Police Week on May 14, 2012. You're seeing many of the officers and community members here with their social media connections so that you can become inspired by this speech and go out and make connections to build community and keep it safe. The following is Chris's speech. My name is Christopher Souza. I am 17 years old and a grade 11 student at St. Mary's Catholic Secondary School. I began my leadership training in grade, in grade 9 when I joined ESP, the Empowered Student Partnership Program. For the past three years, I have been and am currently the student representative on the provincially established Safe Schools Committee. Since grade 9, I have been the venue coordinator for Music Not Mischief. I am presently the leader of St. Mary's School Action Team. While holding part-time employment, I have been a volunteer and mentor for youth and kids at Wallace Emerson Community Centre, The Y, and Dovecourt Boys and Girls Club. Last year, in grade 10, I approached former Superintendent Ruth White for approval to start the first Youth Community Police Liaison Committee. I am presently the co-chair of the 14th Division Youth CPLC. Chief Blair, I say that with great pride because 14th Division is leading the way and our format is now a template which other Toronto Police Divisions can use to establish their own Youth CPLC. 14th Division is, after all, the flagship. <laughs> with the guidance of Staff Sergeant Darren Hallman and PC Dan Shipke, the committee is moving forward so youth have a voice and input towards making their community stronger and safer. I believe I offer a unique perspective towards some of the issues and struggles the young people have to address. Most importantly, I can see that the power and ability to make proactive changes lies with the youth themselves. Empowerment and its resulting changes are best achieved and sustained when they are made with the support of resources such as our Ministry of Community Safety, our Boards of Education, and organizations like the Toronto Police Service. To quote American President Barack Obama, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Youth can be leaders, role models, mediators, as well as mentors. The other youth whom I work with and I have often had the opportunity to take active leadership roles with younger kids and other students. There are so many struggles today. Drugs, alcohol, guns, gangs, bullying, cyberbullying, and one that seems to have been identified so often this year, teen suicide. But if I had to suggest one issue that to me is blatant and obvious, it would probably be isolation. Whether it is self-directed or imposed, that feeling of having nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, and no one to talk to can be devastating and unfortunately often leads to so many subsequent problems. Many kids and youth often won't listen to advice that is being offered because they feel they are being talked at. If we, as youth liaisons, can assist in reaching out to some of those at-risk youth, or if we can support a community centre that is struggling to have safe space, then much has been accomplished. For many conversations that I have been involved in and workshops that I have attended, it seems sometimes the angst presents itself in the classrooms. These are often the kids who are seen as the troublemakers, the unsettled, and the students who need to remove from class. Likewise, many of those same labels can be applied when we talk of those who cause difficulties in our local parks, malls, or playgrounds. Sometimes, young people can benefit, can benefit by simply having a bended ear or an outstretched hand. There are many youth who can listen and lend an ear. Listening costs us nothing. Leading by example costs us nothing. Providing a connection to available programs and resources is one of the many benefits of having a youth network like the YCPLC. 
we can't resolve all issues, but together with our local divisions and in conjunction with all the resources here today, we can work together to make, to make our own community safer. I realize that I am one of the fortunate ones. I have many mentors and supporters, from Superintendent Lee Tomaso to my principal, Mr. Rob Maroli, and most especially, my mom. All of you are there when I need a guiding hand. You have shown me leadership, and I, in turn, want to continue the leadership role for others who need direction and support. My goal is to attend university so I can be one of the go-to supports for future generations of youth and kids. We are the adults of tomorrow. One of my dreams is that when I am older, and hopefully a member of the Toronto Police Service, I will be able to reflect back and say the following. The environment I am living in is in some small way a result of the positive influence I demonstrated as youth. Leading by example, so there is a safer tomorrow. Thank you, have a wonderful day.